Okay, now we look at another example. Okay, for the expanding memory capacity. So, given an 8K time 8-bit memory chip. Okay, determine the capacity of chips in bytes. Determine the number of address lines. Okay, how many 8K time 8-bit chips are needed to produce to 32K time 8-bit? What type of decoder is required to expand the memory capacity to 32 K time 8 bit and then lastly draw the expanded memory diagram in D meaning that you need to draw the uh, expanded memory of 32 K so uh, this is some uh, questions you get an example of question that uh, may be asked uh, for the topic of expanded memory diagram so some of the questions is actually quite similar with the previous uh, Subtopic okay before the expanding memory capacity, okay, all right. So uh, so we go for the solution, okay. We go for the solution of the uh, questions. All right. So uh, the first uh, solution, okay, uh, is the capacity in bytes. Yeah. So. Uh, the questions is uh, given to you. Okay, you are given 8K time with 8 bit. Okay, and then you need to expand. Okay, to 32K time with 8 bit. Okay, so first question, capacity in byte. So capacity in byte, uh, you can find by... Uh, Finding the capacity in bits and then you divide by 8. That is a, a first method okay, that you can use. Or uh, you can uh, use by uh, using this uh, method. Okay, as I show you in uh, this slide. Okay, capacity in byte. Okay, so you just multiply the value of 8 times with k. And then time with the value of your byte. Which is 8 bit equal to 1 byte. So you will get this one. Okay. 8 times with 1024 because k is equal to 1024 and then 8 bit is equal to 1 byte. So uh, 8 times 1024 times with 1 byte. Okay, so you will get 8192 bytes. Okay, so this is the uh, solution for the capacity in byte. Okay, and then second question the number of address line. Okay. So, the number of address line here is actually referring to the number of address line before you expand. Okay, meaning that the, the original uh, memory, which is this one, not the expanded memory, which is 32K. Okay. So, you need to calculate the number of address line for the 8K. Okay. So, the 8K, so you find the value of power of 2 for 8, 8. So, you get uh, 2 power of 3. K okay, time with 2 power of 10 because K is always power of 10. Okay, so you will get the value of 2 power of 3 plus 10. Okay, so N value is 13. Okay, so 13 is actually referring to address line before you expand uh, the memory. Okay. okay, third question, chips needed. Okay, chips needed. So uh, you need to expand to 32K. But the memory that you have is 8K. Okay, so you just divide the value of 32 divide by 8. Or 32K divide by 8. So you have 4 chips. Okay, you need to have 4 chips. Okay. And then fourth question, type of decoder. Okay, because your chips needed are 4 chips. That's why you need to use decoder to 4. Okay, based on the value of your output of your decoder okay same with the value of your chips okay so that is how you determine the type of decoder okay next draw the expanded memory diagram okay so this is the expanded memory diagram okay. so based on this diagram it shows you that you have four chips okay this is four chips okay 8k times uh, 8 bit Okay, so uh, you have input line, you have output line, okay, you have RW, okay. Uh, so the diagram must be labeled correctly, okay, you need to put all the labeling, input, output, RW, ME, address, yeah? 
So you have RW okay, connected with each uh, memory and then input line also must be connected to each uh, memory chip and then uh, label or put a value of 8 okay, because your memory is 8 bit, your word size is 8 bit. Yeah, same goes with the output. Okay. And then because your memory chips needed are four chips, that's why you need to use a decoder 24. Okay, so decoder 24. So this is decoder. Okay, decoder 24. Okay. So 24 meaning that the line below your decoder is 2. Okay, so two line below your decoder is actually the address line. Okay, used to select the memory chip. Okay. So, there is a function of line under your decoder. Okay. And then, the line um, uh, on your decoder or upper your decoder is actually referring to uh, the line of ME. Okay. The line of your ME. Okay. And then, each line must be connected to each memory. Okay. So, because your memory chip have 4 and then your decoder also uh, use decoder 2, 4. 4 output, so that's why you have 4 line. Okay, slightly different with the previous example, right? So, previous example, your chips uh, are 3 chips, that's why the line um, okay, uh, up of your decoder have 3 line, okay? But for this uh, example, okay, the line that you need for your decoder has 4, okay, because your chip also have has 4, okay, has 4 line okay and then the address line under your uh, memory is 13 because we already calculated previously what is the address line for 8k okay and then this line is connected to 8k okay by uh, by logic okay the line here is actually 13 okay and then what is the total address line for the expanded memory Okay, meaning that what is the total address line for the 32k time with 8 bit? Uh, so what is the address line? Yeah, so you need to find the address line for 32k. Yeah, so you will get 15 line, right? Okay, 15 line. So 15 line is actually equal to 13. Okay, 13 here plus with 2. So it's equal to 15. Yeah, so that is how you draw the uh, expanded memory okay, based on the uh, value or information that you get yeah, when you calculate yeah, the address line, okay, the memory chips. Yeah. So this is how okay, you uh, determine okay, the memory components and also uh, you determine the number of chips and then how you draw the uh, memory diagram okay so i hope you can understand for this uh, subtopic okay so we end of our chapter 9 uh, which is our last chapter okay so uh, uh, i uh, refresh back uh, of the chapter okay the the first part you learn is actually the, the function of your memory okay and then the memory components yeah uh, so what is the format of memory component 2 power of n time with m so what is n what is m okay so n is actually referring to the address line m is actually referring to word size okay so based on the given memory so you can find the the value for example capacity in bits uh, so you must remember the formula how you can determine the capacity in bit the memory cells the address lines okay and how you can draw the memory components okay, especially when uh, we include the, the topic uh, expanded memory okay, which is the last topic okay, uh, expanding memory capacity okay. so uh, the choices of decoder how you can choose decoder why you need to choose that decoder yeah? so you need to understand that, uh, uh, that part and uh, how you can draw the expanding memory capacity so that's all for our topic 9 okay, so we have uh, complete the syllabus of ITT 270 or digital electronics so thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh